This is Jonathan Agar here for Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Josh Kelly here at the first press conference out of your fight with Troy Williamson. Uh, Josh, on paper, it looks like a, a really, really good fight. When the British title was ordered for you to face him, was it a no-brainer to take it? 100% in my eyes, and I think there's only one winner. Well, I know there's only one winner. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, he's going to come and put pressure on, and... That's that. That's his game. If I can't prepare for that, then I'm unprepared. So, yeah, I can't wait. This is no-brainer. I want to take it straight away as soon as it was mentioned. It was mentioned in the press conference that you two know each other quite well from GB sparred with each other. Does that help you going into this kind of fight, knowing that you've sparred him? In, or do you, do you even remember? It must yeah. have been a while ago. No, it does for me, mate. Listen, it's like people from the outside looking in think think of guys like this, this, this big, bad, Trojan and I know him as Troy so it's totally different I know I know out there I know a lot of there so it's going to be a, it's going to be a night to enjoy mate 100% Stylistically would you say this is in any way similar to the Avenesian fight or not? Yeah it's similar yeah it is similar but I'm a totally different person totally different athlete different mindset everything so it's just a, it's a different fight altogether really from my side Obviously, um, <clears throat> you've had two wins since then. How do you think you've improved inside the ring, first of all? But I was a little bit more, was more basic, if you want to put it that way, a bit more hands-up style. Um, I feel as though my weight has made a massive difference. Moving up the super welterweight, mate, it's huge for me. It's like drying that weight out on the mornings of the welterweight fight was just like hard work, bro. So, yeah. Doing that has um, made a huge difference, and I feel fresh, I feel fresh, I'm recovering better, I'm training better, I'm able to push harder, so I'm feeling like an all round better athlete. Does the pressure feel different as well heading into this phase of your career? Obviously, the pressure was always on mm. when you were before you took the loss, now you've taken the loss. I'm not, I haven't seen the, the odds, but maybe some people would have him as favourite, some would obviously have you. But does it feel different pressure? Yeah. <laughs> It's no, it's no pressure on me. Like I think Sam, Sam Jones is saying, there's pressure, no pressure on me. The more, there's more pressure on him. And you can see the way people's acting. It's, uh, see, I feel as I'm getting a bit of a nervous vibe from from their team. So there's a lot more pressure on them than me. I'm relaxed, chilled. I'll just have to go in there and do what I do on the night, and I will win. And um, what does a British uh, win over Troy Williamson do for your career? I know um, Adam said in the press conference you'd take. I think Callis said you'd take Ch Charlo tomorrow. But given sort of you know this fight, I think people would say is arguably above British level. So do you think this takes you towards that world level? 100. percent I think there's 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 a um, there's a chance for huge fights after this. So to one I win and then one I go, I think it'll propel this next stage of my career forwards and on a bigger and like better things. I, I'm I'm coming here for nothing except world titles in 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 boxing. So, listen, I've just got to enjoy it and uh, I will, I think, well, I know I'll get there. I know you spoke sort of when you made your comeback from the Avenesian fight about sort of taking the time out to sort of recuperate and sort of you spoke openly about the mental health things. Obviously, you mentioned in the press conference about uh, drinking whiskey sort of a week, bef a week before. How did it feel sort of going into these fights knowing that sort of your mindset wasn't what you would have liked to have to been uh, in life, never mind in boxing? Yeah, it was hard. Like, st like first of all, you gotta, you gotta, your normal life is affected by it, which is not good. So that there, uh, um, normal day to day life has been affected. So, put stress on my family. Obviously, I got two young kids, so I didn't want to sort of father my kids like that. And I didn't want to grow up um, feeling that way outside life. So, it was some dark times, mate. But like now, especially through that, and now. Um, I'm through it. It's first, first unbelievable. First, like a weight off, weight just lift like the, the old cliche, weight lift off the shoulders. But it's just, I think I'm just breezing through life now. So it feels really good. Great to hear. And uh, obviously, just away from this fight, uh, David Avenesian is going to fight Terence Crawford uh, December. Uh, what was your reaction, first of all, when that got announced? Well, good. It just shows you what level I was at right now. So, um, I've boxed two ex world champions in my time, in my short time in boxing, professional. Um, Carlos Molina, um, obviously David Avenition. Um, it shows what level they're up right now, and it shows what level I, I, I'm able to operate at if I'm, on, if I'm on form. So, yeah. 
for obviously a lot of fans in America have uh, wanted the Errol Spence fight and have been quite critical of this fight being announced. What would you say uh, to those guys about what David Avenue seems like as a fighter and what maybe su perhaps surprised you if anything when you fought him? No, he's going to bring the he's going to bring the bring the work for um, Crawford. I, hot, tough fight for David, but he's going to he does go in and bring work. So Crawford's um, Craw I mean Crawford's that experience now and so all that many stars. He shouldn't really he'll not be really that worried. But I, I don't assume he is. But there is always that factor with David. He's always he's got he can take a little bit and he's he's um, he's clever. He's clever in there. So. It's going to be work for Crawford, and um, I wish David all the best. I really do. But would you edge to Crawford overall? You'd have to, wouldn't you? You'd have to. But like, I, w I wish David all the best in that fight, and I'm sort of rooting for, rooting for him in that one. And just uh, closing off the interview, uh, we haven't spoke since uh, all the news around Ben Eubank and why the fight didn't happen. Obviously, you were a previous rival of, of Conor Ben. The fight could perhaps happen in the future. What did you make of uh, that and the fight not happening? It's, it's a bit mad. It just, it's a bit mad. It just doesn't nothing. It's, it's not adding up to me personally. Obviously, you can't you can't put accusations out there. But a prescribed um, prescribed drug like that it has to be prescribed. If a doctor doesn't get into people's systems without without it doesn't just end up like that. It doesn't just end up in a protein shake or something like that. So I mean, they're going through. They're doing the due diligence, and obviously it was a massive British, it was a massive British clash. So it was a bit of a sickener not having that one going ahead, but for, for the right reasons it didn't. Just finally, uh, your prediction for December second? Oh, big win, man! Big win, yeah. Josh Kelly, thanks for speaking to Pro Boxing fans. Appreciate it.